everyone, I'm Ethan with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Gaspare Bertoni, who was a pillar of support for the faithful in uncertain times. Gaspare was born in the Republic of Venice in 1777. He grew up in a well-off and faith-filled family and was given a thorough education by his immediate family as well as by the Jesuits at a local school. He received his first communion at 11, and from that point forward, it was clear that he was called to religious life. He entered seminary when he was 18 and had only been there for about a year when the French invaded Venice, an attack whose repercussions would continue to be felt in his home city for the next two decades. While continuing his studies for the priesthood, he also joined the Gospel Fraternity for the Hospitals. As a member of this charitable organization, he assisted the sick and suffering across Venice. Gaspari was ordained in the year 1800, entering into the clergy directly in the wake of the French Revolution and several of its wars. The damage caused by these conflicts created great strife in many places, and Gaspari, though eager to help heal a wounded Europe, was only one man. He deferred his course of action to his pastor and was asked to look after the youth of their parish, who would need careful guidance growing up in such troubled times. Gaspare threw himself into his work and in time laid the groundwork for an oratory dedicated to bringing up youth in the faith. Sadly, his enthusiasm was quickly curbed by a decree from Emperor Napoleon which banned all such organizations. The church's precarious position only grew more uncertain when Pope Pius VII excommunicated Napoleon in 1809 and was promptly kidnapped in retaliation. For years, he was kept prisoner, during which time he refused to comply with Napoleon's demands. Gaspare, continuing to provide spiritual direction in his new parish, St. Firmus Major rallied his flock to pray for the church and her pope. Sure enough, the pope was released five years later and Napoleon's reign soon came to an end. Learning of Gaspare's unfailing faith and guidance, Pope Pius officially appointed him an apostolic missionary. Gaspare's continued passion for the Catholic upbringing of the youth led him to form a new community. With the help of a couple companions, Gaspare started an order that would come to be known as the Congregation of the Sacred Stigmata of our Lord Jesus Christ. This congregation offered tuition-free schooling and other services to the local parish and community. In the latter half of his life, Gaspare suffered a powerful case of fever that left him in poor health. For 41 years, he was in continuous pain, which he endured patiently while continuing to help those who needed his guidance. When asked by an infirmarian if he needed anything, he replied, I need to suffer. He died soon after this in the year 1853. The church had endured and continues to endure many hardships, from bans to schisms to kidnapped popes. It has been shaken, but never toppled. And that's thanks to the persistence and loving efforts of souls like Gaspare, who dedicated their lives in teaching the faith and lifting up the helpless at every opportunity. In uncertain times like his, we are called to do what we can. Saint Gaspare Bertoni, pray for us.